Sometimes bird penises disappear. I keep telling y'all birds are weird. <laughs> Anthony here for D News, and yes, 97% of birds have penises that just disappear as they're gestating in their egg. It breaks down like this. In the beginning, there were paleognaths, the oldest birds, cool, weird birds, big birds, penis-having birds. Some of them are still around. Ostriches, emus, and kiwis are all paleognaths. But along the way, we got two other newer groups, and seriforms, which are water birds like swans and ducks, and galliforms, land birds, turkeys, chicken, pheasants, birds they eat at badass medieval feasts. And seriforms have penises, some of them have crazy penises. Check out the video Trace made about them. Galliforms start off having penises, but at some point before birth, they just disappear. Instead, both the male and the female have cloacas, which are these openings that they push together to transfer semen. It's called a cloacal kiss, which sounds much more romantic than pushing together the hole that birds pee and poop out of and also use to transfer semen. So weird, birds. Anyway, the big question is, why do the penises disappear? What happens? Biologists at the University of Florida ran a study to find out, and the findings were published in the journal Current Biology. They grabbed five bird embryos, two galliforms, and three anseriforms. They watched as all of them formed genital tubercules, which is the beginning of a penis. After a few days, the tubercule on the galliforms stopped growing, and it began to shrink. The cells were actually dying off. The researchers watched what genes flipped on and off in all the birds during that time, and they found out that the galliforms activated genes that were making a protein called BMP right before their tubercule started to disappear. So, what happens if you give BMP to a duck embryo when it's in development? Well, they tried it, and the duck's penis disappeared. Much to the dismay of the duck, I'm sure. Then they used a chemical to stop the BMP from being formed in a chicken, and they got the first chicken with a penis in millions of years. So, that's something they can put on their resume. Hey, Anthony, why? Why are you talking about this? That's fair. That is a fair question. The answer is BMP is used in a lot of areas of bird development. It's how their feathers and beaks evolved. So now biologists think the loss of the bird's penis and the development of the cloaca was actually a side effect of some other larger evolutionary change. We know more about the origin of these species now. Also, one of the most common birth defects in humans is a malformed penis. Birds and mammals use many of the same genes to form penises. So this could lead to new ways to minimize these defects and maybe birth defects as a whole. This time, your creepy weirdness may have done some good, birds. You win this round. Hey, what do you think the weirdest thing about birds is? I don't like that migratory birds can sleep and fly at the same time because it's like they're always watching us. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.